بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا مولانا محمد كما تحب وترضى بأن تسلم صل عليه All praises are due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى the cherisher the sustainer, the creator, the master of all the worlds. Peace and blessings be upon Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam who came onto this world as rahmat alil alameen, mercy for the entire creation. To my brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. The effects of sins and Tawbah and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What we need to do is that we need to learn to focus. That we need to learn to focus on the azmat and the rahmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are unable to do Tawbah in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of too much sins. If you look at the rahmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put his rahmat into this dunya. That one percent of his rahmat, he has descended on this dunya. The person whose heart understands the mercy of and the azmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be able to leave sin. Rabi al-Basri radiallahu ta'ala anha beautifully says that if I repent now, will God forgive me? She says no, but if God forgives you, then you will repent. Imran ibn Hussain radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam there was a lady who came to the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam and she was pregnant because of committing adultery and she comes to the court of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam and she says I have committed adultery that's why today I am pregnant and she, she, and she tells the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam that it is eligible for you to execute the had upon me. So the Holy Prophet calls the guardian of the lady and he tells him that look after her, treat her well until she delivers the baby. The guardian does what the Holy Prophet tells him to do. And then he comes back with the lady and the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells her to fasten her clothes and the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam issues the order for stoning her to death and then the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam performs her janazah salah over her body Azad Umar Radiallahu Ta'ala who says that O oh, Messenger of Allah you performed her janazah salah over her body despite the fact that she was a sinner, she was an adulterer. The Holy Prophet sallallahu says that her repentance in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was such, it was with such sincerity that her sincerity would be distributed amongst the people of Medina. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave all her sins. And he tells us that Umar that she came willingly for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we are stuck in sin, if we feel that we cannot turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in two beautiful passages where he says 
that remember when Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam, when he left his people, when he left his people and he goes away, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minal dhalimin. The glory be to you, Allah. You are alone. Glory, glorified be to you. I am from amongst those who has done dhulm. I am from amongst those who has done wrong. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respond back with him? Allah says, فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَنَجَّيْنَهُ مِنَ الْغَمِّ وَكَذَلِكَ نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ He says, I accepted the dua of Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam. That I accepted the dua of Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam when he was in distress. And I took him out of that distress. Dear brothers in Islam, if you feel that we, are, that we have sinned so much and we are embarrassed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kul ya ibadi alladhi, ala, Kul ya ibadi alladhi asrafu ala anfusihim, La taknatu min rahmati Allah, Inna allaha yaghfiru dhunuba jami'an, Inna huwa la ghafuru rahim He says, Oh my, oh my slave, Ya ibad, Oh my slave, You have sinned and sinned, and sin against yourself that you are even embarrassed to look into the mirror he says do not lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says do not lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'an he says bring all your sins together bring all your sins together whether your sins are reaching the skies bring all your sins together and turn to me with ikhlas Turn to me with sincerity and I will forgive all your sins. Inna huwa la rahim. Surely he is the most gracious, the most merciful. There is a narration from the ilmi ghaib of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Some of the information of the unseen. He says on the day of judgment, there would be a person that there would be two people that would be dragged into Jahannam. The angels would be dragging him into Jahannam on their faces. And they would be asking forgiveness. They would be asking for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They would be asking for his, for his forgiveness. And the reaction of these two people would be different. Jahannam itself will turn back from that person, will refuse to throw him in Jahannam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask Jahannam, that, Oh Jahannam, why are, you, why are you backing yourself from throwing this man into Jahannam? Jahannam will say that he is asking for your, for your forgiveness, Ya Allah. He is asking for your forgiveness, Ya Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say that I have forgiven him. That I have forgiven him, free him. And there will be another person who will be about to be thrown into Jahannam. Who will be about to be thrown in the fire of hell. And as he is about to be thrown in the fire of hell, he will say, that, Ya Allah, I never expected this from you. What a bold statement is this. He will say, Ya Allah, I never expected this from you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, what did you expect from me? I did not oppress anyone. You had the choice between doing good in, and doing, doing good and doing bad in this dunya. You had the choice. What did you expect from me? The servant will say, Ya Allah, I expected that your mercy could even reach someone like me. Could even reach someone like me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Jahannam, he will tell Jahannam to leave him. And said, I have forgave him. Throw him in Jannah. Allah will say, enter him into Jannah. What is mercy? Mercy is that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put into our, our hearts. 
If you look at a bird, it goes out the whole day in, in search of a food for her children. If you look at the mother as mercy for her young ones, mercy is that when a person forgives another person. That 1% of mercy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent onto this dunya. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divided His mercy into 100 pieces. And He has put 1% of His mercy into this dunya. And He has kept 99% of that mercy for Himself for the Day of Judgment. Look how merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. My dear brothers in Islam and sisters, we should not lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter what wrong we do, knowingly or unknowingly, no matter what wrong we do, but we should turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask Him for, for, his, for his forgiveness. He is the most gracious, the most merciful. One hadith comes, there will be two people on the day of judgment. There will be two people on the day of judgment. They will be called out of Jahannam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call them out of Jahannam and He will say, that how did you find Jahannam? That how did you find the hellfire? Can words even describe Jahannam, my dear brothers of Islam? If you look, if you take a lighter and burn our hands, how much pain we feel? Can words even describe Jahannam? The adab is severe. Nevertheless, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask them, how did you find Jahannam? The servant will say, Ya Allah, it is the worst of places. It is the worst of places. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say that I did not oppress anybody. It was your choice. And you made the choice. You had the decision between good and bad. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will command them to go back to Jahannam. Now the, the reaction of these two people will be different. The first person will take the shackles and put it on his hands and will run back to Jahannam. And the second person will stay firm on his place. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call the, the first person that runs back to Jahannam, will call him back. And he will say to him, that why did you run back to Jahannam? He will say, that Ya Allah, I never obeyed not even one single command of yours when I was in this dunya. I never obeyed not even one single command of yours when I was in this dunya. Today when you commanded me to go back, I thought to myself that let me at least hasten back to, to Jahannam and obey this one command that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive that person and enter him into Jannah. And the second person, and the second person was standing firm on his place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask him, why didn't you run back? Why didn't you run back? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask him that why didn't you run back? The slave will say, the slave will say that you took me out of Jahannam. I did not expect that you would, even, that you would put me back. I did not expect that you would put me back into Jahannam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, I have forgiven you also. Look at the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, dear brothers in Islam. We need to turn back. We need to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is never too late. Allah, the Holy Prophet sallallahu wa says, it says in Hadith al-Qudsi, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that my mercy supersedes my anger. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, being sinless, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, being sinless, is to repent every day in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than 7200 times a day. So who are we, my dear brother in Islam, not to repent in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He is the most forgiving, the most merciful. 
We need to understand His Rahmah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us with Rahmah. He has given eyes with Rahmah. He has created our eyes with Rahmah. He has created our hands with Rahmah. He has created our body with Rahmah. But today we refuse to turn back to Him. We sin, we sin, we sin. But we have forgotten about the last on the day of judgment. We have forgotten, my dear brother in Islam. So let us turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With these few words, I would like to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He forgive all our sins and make it for us on the make it easy for us on the day of Qiyamah. Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. شیبری پر آفتاب تاروں میں مثل ماہتا کچھ اس طرح لگنے لگا دار 